In this video you will learn why do we need d.ts file inside TypeScript and how to use it correctly. So we typically are just writing some project with TypeScript. And here I already prepared for us a small project which is built with Vite and has TypeScript inside. And inside source main TS I have some TypeScript code. It is not really important what code is this. But at some point we want to build our TypeScript and transpile it to JavaScript so it can be executed inside browser. And inside my package JSON I have a TypeScript dependency, which actually means I can jump directly inside the console and write here dot node modules TypeScript bin TSC. And as you can see this bin TSC, this is exactly TypeScript inside console that will help us to transpile our TypeScript code to JavaScript. And we are getting this TSC if we installed TypeScript dependency. What we are writing here is source main TS. This is exactly the file that we want to transpile. And here we are saying minus minus out file build JS. This is the JavaScript file that will be created after transpilation and which can be directly executed inside browser. But most importantly here we want to write minus minus declaration. And what it does, it creates exactly this additional .dts file. Let's have a look. Here in the root of my project I have built JS file. And here is the whole code of everything that was transpiled from TypeScript. Here on the right I can open source main TS. As you can see we had here lots of types, we don't have this here. This is just plain native JavaScript and we can execute it. We don't have any types whatsoever here. But additionally with this build.js file, which we can use, there was generated one more file build.d.ts. And this file was generated exactly by this option minus minus declaration. If we don't provide this option, then we won't get this file, but just build.js. And inside this build.d.ts, I'm getting just definitions of types with declare keyword. And then we're getting definitions that are used inside my TypeScript. We have here zero code, zero JavaScript code and zero TypeScript code. This is just types definition for TypeScript. Now the question is why do we need this file at all? Because we have our TypeScript, we successfully transpiled it to JavaScript and we can use it in browser. This is totally fine. I'm sorry for interruption, but I just want to let you know that I have a membership here on the channel that you can join to support me. It will give you access to the new videos earlier, emojis and priority replies to your comments. But just imagine that we have a library and our library was built with the TypeScript. But what we are getting as an output is JavaScript. And when we are importing this library inside our project, for example inside source main TS on the top, we want to import some method foo from dependency foo, which is a library. This is coming from JavaScript. It is not coming from the TypeScript, which actually means we are throwing JavaScript back to the TypeScript. And the main problem with that that we won't get any typings because they were stripped off our project. And inside build.js, as you can see, we don't have any typings at all. This is why we have this DTS file. It has all typing definitions which will be used at the moment when we are throwing our JavaScript file inside our TypeScript file. And then we can read just fine all these methods and all these data types, just like we write in our code with normal TypeScript. So when do we need to generate these DTS files? If we want to import it somewhere later inside TypeScript files. If you simply need to execute it in browser and you don't import it anywhere, it doesn't make any sense to generate D.TS files, you don't need them at all. So mostly here we are talking either about libraries or about some reusable code which was built to the internal libraries. So to sum this up, our DTS file are type declaration files and they have just a single purpose. They contain all type definitions for that specific module. And actually, if you want to improve your TypeScript knowledge, I highly recommend you to check my full course here on YouTube, which is completely free in this video.